New Providence, Bahamas for the final round of the Hero World Challenge. From the Albany Golf Course in a world-class field, with Tiger Woods serving as host, didn't have the start to the week or the finish for that matter that he was looking for, but did have a nice birdie at the 11th. After an over par front nine, he makes that to get back to one over. John Rahm looking for birdie at six, one of three players tied for the lead coming into Sunday. He grabs the spot at the top, but we catch up with Tony Finau sharing the lead at seven, his second, and a beautiful one. This one just below the hole, Three feet left, and he brushes that in to grab the solo lead at 16 under par. Back to Rahm, this is at seven. John Rahm birdies at six and seven, and he would regain a share of the lead. Henry Stinson, the third player that had a share of the lead at the 54 hole mark, just battling, trying to make that at the ninth, but was able to finish for birdie there to get to 15 under and a smile, but still losing his spot on the leaderboard to these other two with Tony Finau battling John Rahm and Rahm on the attack at the ninth and what a second shot into the par five. 284 yards coming in and this one gliding up the green to about 10 feet. He would two putt for birdie getting to 17 under. Back to Finau for birdie at 10. Beautiful greens and Finau with a great read. That takes him to 16 under par. At 11, Rom and a chance to take it to 18 under, and he curls it in off the right side. The lead starting to increase. Justin Rose, as he looks to get to that number one spot in the world once again with a strong finish, he makes the eagle at 15 and a nice jump up the leaderboard. Back to Rom. Rom, bottom of the green at 15 for eagle. Oh, he just barely missed it, but a tap in birdie. Gain one more, moving to a comfortable lead. And now Tony Finau for birdie at 18. That gets him to 16 under par. But John Rahm, a runaway winner in the end, as he brushes in a par at the last. And John Rahm, in his first start at the Hero World Challenge, comes up aces. He wins in the Bahamas with a 20 under score. Now we look forward to a trip to Naples, Florida with the QBE shootout beginning on Friday. First round coverage time, 1.30 p.m. Eastern.